Hey guys, it's Arden Hall here with you today and it is May 15th, 2019 and I just got the best idea for a room makeover uh, today and I'm gonna write it down and hopefully throughout these next few months you will be able to see how I turn this mess of a room that I'm not gonna show you today because it's kind of really messy into something better. It's 16th of May. Um, it's 8.50. This is the earliest I've been up in like six months, okay? Um, <laughs> my god, I wasn't able to sleep. I was so excited about all the changes and my brain just kept dropping bombs on me like, this is what you need to do. Oh my gosh, this would be so much better. Ah, just let me sleep. I think I was up until like 3 a.m. While I was lying in my bed, all I wanted to do was share this information with someone. I was so excited and I still am. The only problem I might get is from my uncle, my grandma and my grandpa who are in the other house. And they might give me some problems with um, discarding furniture. <laughs> but... If I get everything I want, this room is going to look like the best room in the house. So I came up with an official plan of what I want to do to this room. And now it's time for me to write everything down step by step so that I know exactly the way I'm going to do it. So um, I already went out yesterday and bought a large um, comforter for my bed that I will start using after my sister moves out and when the room is done so this bed is currently not good uh, it's not very aesthetically pleasing uh, but I am very excited to start doing this so I'm gonna go to Google Docs and I'm gonna get everything written down so that I, so that I don't forget hi so today is June 1st which means we only have approximately 27 days until I start this whole bedroom project um, and I just wanted to show you guys so this is my room right now it's not very nice it's also very space consuming and yeah it's not very good I'm not very happy with it so on 26th of June my sister is leaving for Ireland which means that the room that I'm sharing with her right now is going to be mine Today I'm going to be redoing my room, which I'm kind of bored of. I am expecting it to take about a week or so, a lot more actually, a few days more, like 10 days. I've never had a room set up the way I like it, so um, I'm excited, but I'm also sad because we've been traveling and we had to say goodbye to my sister and I love her and it was sad, but yeah, it's time to move on. It is six o'clock and so I kind of have to start working on this room if I want to be done in 10 days. So let's just get started. I forgot your name, don't remember where we met, we met, but what I do recall is the shit you put me through, but not you. officially done doing things for today so this is my room right now it is still a mess but I basically cleared out all of this and then 
put them into little sections just to know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to get two new bookshelves to add to this one because you can see that not all of the books are on display. Good morning. Uh, it is day two. I woke up 10 minutes ago. It is 7 a.m. And I am ready to get started. Honestly, I am so ready. But today I'm going to need a lot of help because what I have planned will take more than one person. So yeah, mm, I was up like, I was up until one in the morning because I couldn't sleep. I kept tossing around because this room is really empty without my sister. And I kind of got scared of the dark at some point. Um, and yeah, today I'm just going to... I've run on five hours of sleep, but it doesn't matter because things need to get done. Hopefully today I'll be able to sleep better. The thing is, when I am tired, I can't fall asleep. And when I'm not tired, I can't fall asleep. And I'm just gonna have some breakfast first. And I think I'm gonna start a couple of hours later just because I kind of just want to get a proper start and eat something. I just ate and I cleared up that space and now I'm gonna move on to my bookshelf. Shelf. It is empty and here we have 25 bags full of books. My goodness. All of this is full of books that I need to somehow relocate. The thing is I have too many things and um, this house is very small and I have nowhere to fit all my things. Uh, so I'm starting to panic a little bit. Behind this wardrobe is a lot of mold. It started about seven years ago in that corner over there. Um, and it just grew with time and it's gotten out of control. So now I'm just trying to fix it up a bit uh, because it's very unhealthy to live in this space if it has mold. If you hear scratching, that's Lucifer. And if you hear a bird, that's him. Risk. Update. So I emptied all of this, all of my books, into the kitchen and into my dad's room without him knowing about it. So when he comes home, I hope he won't be mad. He basically has all the space I need that I don't have. Um, but now we can proceed to move on to other things. Lucifer. Oh, she's asleep. She's very cute. Oh. She had days on and off where she's like awake and then she's asleep she had her eyes closed today and she kept scratching at the terrarium just like digging and so i think she's gonna go back to sleep now but um yeah i'm gonna put some food in here if she wants it otherwise like normally she doesn't want it because she's in brumation but um this is her temporary home I hope she's comfortable. And there was a change of plans. I uh, I was originally supposed to keep these, um, but they're going now because the floor underneath me isn't as stable as it should be. My wardrobe needs to be as light as it can be. But since we're losing all of these, I'm gonna take the shelves and I'm gonna put them in one of the wardrobes um, so that I have extra space and you know it's a bit more functional. The terrarium is gone. Uh, this table is going out. I am not keeping it. It's 8.15 and... 
I think I'm done for today. We took out most of the wardrobe. Look at the mold. My goodness. And it goes all around to that corner. And it's it started in that corner. And I'm just, oh. But yeah, this is currently my room. Um, it's just kind of like my bed is still a mess. So I need to clean that up. But I'm done. Like I took everything out that I possibly could. Except for that. I forgot that part. So yeah, this is my room. I just took a shower and I'm so tired, exhausted. Oh, watch this. Wait, I'm gonna set you down. There's an echo. It's so empty that there is actually an echo. It's 5.35 and she just woke me up because she's scratching. Lucifer, stop. Go to bed. My neighbors are talking right under my window at 5.30 in the morning. Also, I had to take her out because she wouldn't sleep. And now she's here with me. Sleeping. <laughs> Good night. This is how she fell asleep. Oh, we went to the store to pick up this for mold. Let's just get to work. It's gonna be a long day. I can already feel it. I'm working all by myself and I just want to be done as soon as possible and so I'm not able to show you guys what I am doing but I will show you the before if I still have it and after shot of this room and how it looked and how it looks now it's day five it's currently 10 past eight in the morning and I am definitely feeling a bit tired I feel that today is gonna be a slow day so um yeah we did a lot yesterday so i'm really ex excited and happy about that but sorry just something's been bothering me um and now i mess it up i have my very own little helper here my dog oh yeah she's such a cutie she's helping me paint by the way these are the wardrobes they look great we mounted these um, shelf holders. I'm hoping to paint the ceiling. <laughs> I have to move everything away from the walls. Um, I have to cover everything, which is, you know, all of that mess. I'm just, I'm a bit, I'm a bit not overwhelmed. Just I didn't sleep well. That's what's happening. I am. I honestly, every single day I woke up at like 6 or 7 um, and you know, I just, I'm working from morning to evening.
this wall twice. I painted the ceiling and I painted half of that wall. As you can see, I only have a little bit left and I painted around the mirror, the mirror, the window. I'm so happy to be finished with white paint because then one wall is gonna be an accent wall and I can't wait for you guys to see what it's gonna look like when it's not. everybody it is day seven which means i'm one week into the room renovation and this is everything i did i painted the entire wardrobe and spray painted the handles and then inside this one we have shelves my dog is sleeping and then i painted this i painted the desk whatever's left i am leaving you know the entire inside i'm just leaving it the way it is um uh, i painted or i'm in the process of finishing this bookshelf. I painted the walls, the white walls, and as you can see, they have a little bit, you know, little bits of streaks, but that's because they were so dirty. I couldn't clean them properly, so, um, you know, I, w I should have done a second coat, but I'm doing this by myself and I'm too lazy and I'm leaving in a year, so whatever. Um, and then I painted this wall that I absolutely love. It matches my <laughs> my sheet that I'm gonna have to change. Um, and I painted the entire terrarium. So that's quite a lot of work for a week. Oh, and I broke my tripod so I can't have my camera on the tripod and film myself doing things. Because I'm stupid and that's what happened. Are you a cutie? Yes, you are. Hi, everybody. Yikes, my clothes. My room is officially done. I assembled that bookshelf. Hey, guys, good morning. It is day seven or day eight, depending on what day you're counting this renovation started. So, um, yeah, right now what I'm doing, I have all these bags with books that I have to put on my bookshelf. But yeah, look at how many there are.
guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you liked my room transformation. Obviously, some things have been delayed. I still have to put up frames there, clean up a few things like my bookshelf, and clean <laughs> the cages of my parrots because as you saw, they weren't exactly clean uh, because I just moved them in. But now I can finally focus on my pets after, after a year, after a week of constant work. If you have any suggestion as to what video I should film next, let me know. And please click that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that bell icon to, you know, stay notified whenever I post a video. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. for them and I'm thankful for the help and I'm thankful for my brother who scared me yesterday that I dropped a can of paint all over the floor and it was paint for wood the floor is wooden so well he didn't scare me he just made me feel really irritated so I wasn't watching what I was doing and I just dropped it on the floor so thanks to my brother <laughs> um, but yeah now I have a rule that whenever someone's being negative they don't belong in my room because they make me negative that's what's happening uh, i guess i i just have to thank everybody for their help 